from every aspect, the vessel is entirely unique, right from its propulsion systems, right through to its design, and what it means to, to Greenpeace and to our future, basically. The idea behind this, this vessel is a, is, a, is a working platform, a campaign, campaign vessel for Greenpeace. And mostly to demonstrate the fact that we can run a ship with, uh, completely with wind power. This A-frame rig is, uh, is totally unique. There, there is nothing afloat that looks like this or, uh, or even close to it. And we have this rig for several reasons. Uh, if we had single mass, we would not be able to have a helicopter uh, hangar because the, mass, the after mass would come right through the middle of the helicopter hangar. So you couldn't put a helicopter inside. And also the mass would be much higher because to, to carry this same weight of sail, which is uh, just under 1,300 square meters, you really need a substantial mass system. Everything is done by hand. All of these wonderful pieces, all, all, all uh, made at the factory. It makes you quite amazed just to understand what people can design and make when they put their mind to it. This is one of the key, the key control stations uh, of the vessel during sailing operations. All sails are controlled from here but we can adjust them um, uh, very acutely, very, very finitely. Um, but again, like I say, it's not an automatic control system. It's still a very much uh, the human element, the human experience, the eye, what the eye can see, what the ear can hear. You can hear if the sails are laughing, so you must come out and give them attention. Here is the radio operator doing his day job. <laughs> <laughs> Organizing yeah. the party box downstairs. Oh, yeah. We have made one uh, helicopter landing during sea trial. We have to release the backstays here, which are the, uh, the two uh, black covered uh, wires. So they have to come off and be walked forward to the side out the way. We have to release the boom, swing the boom up to starboard, secure it there. We have to fold down these handrails. These handrails with the safety nets, they, they fold down. And then we have to launch the mob boat. And we have to also put in place some gratings there over the aft cockpit. So for the crew, it can be, it can be a workup. This is not a yacht, this is a real working, uh, a real working vessel. I'm sure once she's made the rounds of uh, harbors and ports, pressing the flesh and showing the supporters what she can do, then she'll be off doing what she's been designed to do all along, which is get into action. Of all the ships I've built before or been involved with, this, is, this will stand out everywhere you go. I'm looking forward to sitting in my living room in the future with my children and grandchildren saying, I built that. This is the steering gear room. Inside this room is the is the hydraulic equipment which drives the rudder. This micro switch here indicates on the panel in the wheelhouse that this door is open or closed. We have a diving air compressor complete with diving bottles and we have uh, diving equipment also. And these plans show the location and the type of safety equipment on each deck. Very comprehensive and very, very important. Forbidden, okay? <laughs> Don't cross this line. <laughs> And here is the hospital. Of course, let's see, it's locked because inside here we have some, uh, we have class A drugs which are secure. And in here for longer term storage, we have frozen food. Uh, this is minus 20. It wouldn't last very long in here. You can press this alarm and somebody will come and get you. Hopefully. They have to come here to stop the alarm. The E drive is driving through here, through the same gearbox as the main engine. It is clutched in here and through this gearbox is driving back, turning the propeller. It's very important on the ship not to lose documentation. Very important. So put that there in the hope that it will stay there. I mean, anybody can do this. Commercial vessels can do this. Why, why do we have to have food and materials transported at high speed uh, with high impact to the environment? For, for what reason? If you have a low-value cargo, why does it have to go around at 20 knots? It's ridiculous. You can design vessels to work on sail, carrying large cargo payloads. That's, that's, that's what, how it should be. I have a sailboat of my own, slightly smaller than this one.